A new study from the CDC is giving us more insight on the many military members affected by the toxic water at Camp Lejeune. Now your site's Claire Curry has been digging deeper into this study today. She joins us now from our Jacksonville studio with more. Claire. Ken, Angie, this is considered a groundbreaking study. Health officials st stating that Marines stationed at Camp Lejeune had at least a 20% higher risk of cancer than at other bases. The study looked at over 200,000 people. It compares military personnel at Camp Lejeune to those at Camp Pendleton between 1975 to 1985. Some of the cancers people are at higher risk of getting include leukemia, lymphoma, cancers of the lung, breast, throat, esophagus, and thyroid. This is believed to have came from industrial solvents contaminating the water from the 1950s to 1980s. Michael Partain was born at Camp Lejeune and diagnosed with male breast cancer in 2007. Now, as an advocate, he's a part of the Community Assistance Panel under the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. They help conduct these types of studies. The results of the study and the findings in, show an increase in cancer. So it's going to help those who are trying to uh, bring litigation against the government uh, prove their cases because a, you know, this is an official government agency that's conducted a health study that has found more links uh, to the exposures at Camp Lejeune uh, to the contaminated water uh, and their adverse health outcome. He adds it's interesting to note the age group of the study is relatively young. So if they're already seeing these health effects, it's important to continue to follow their health over the rest of their lifetime. Now with the PACT Act signed into law, those who believe they developed health problems due to the toxic water can file claims. In our Jacksonville studio, Claire Curry, 9 on your side. All right, Claire, thank you.